was a there was a wonderful knight uh, who was uh, who was deeply in love with the young maiden, and the young maiden uh, consented to be his wife. She was the daughter of the baron. He and she uh, went off on uh, on a journey for their honeymoon. Uh, they spent the night uh, with, a, uh, with a group of revelers, and in the morning the revelers had gone who they had planned to travel with. So they uh, continued on their journey. So they came into a crossroads, and the crossroads uh, were in a dark woods. There was a wide path this way. There was a narrow path that didn't look very well used on the other way. There was an old man sitting there. They asked them which way their party had gone. And the old man gestured to the little used path. So along that path they traveled. Alas, for the old man was actually the leader of a band of horrible robbers. They beat the young knight and abused him most dreadfully and the poor wife. They decided not to draw lots for her, but to share her like and like. While the knight they bound and threw into the bramble bush. The poor woman was so distraught. When they released her, she grabbed her husband's sword and made to stab him in the heart. She missed and cut his bonds instead, whereupon he took the sword from her and said, why? Why would you strike at me? She said, I know you will never look at me again the way you did before. And he said, no one needs to know. You and I will live together as brother and sister from now on. And they rode home side by side as brother and sister. Well, now the Baron could tell that something was wrong. Something had changed in the relationship between his daughter and his best beloved knight. So finally, on a charge of, of the fealty owed to him as a knight, he demanded to know what had happened, and the knight confessed all, that his wife had been raped by who knows how many men. He simply could not share relations with her. Well, the Baron was absolutely furious. Furious! He got a, he got a ship. And um, they all sailed away. When they were out of sight of the port, he grabbed his daughter, stuffed her into a barrel, nailed it shut, and had his men roll her over the side. He and the knight returned home, where the knight became his heir. Now the poor woman floated on, lost and alone, till finally she was dredged up by a group of sailors. And seeing her raiment all in finery, they took her and sold her at the market where she was purchased by a servant of, by a uh, procurer for the Sultan himself. The Sultan found her because of her great beauty. He took her to wife, provided she converted to, uh, to uh, his religion. She bore him a beautiful daughter and a handsome young son. Well, years later, the knight and the bishop were reconsidering their deeds. And they thought perhaps they had been too hasty to judge the young woman. And they decided that they would make a pilgrimage in remorse. But alas, their ship was blown off course and crashed under the shore of the Sultan. They were taken as slaves. And because this was a great day of celebration for the Sultan, it was the Sultan's custom to take arrows and take his, uh, and take his prisoners and use them as target practice. Mm. However, the lady discovered there her own husband and her father. And she said, oh, great husband, great husband, if you please, I see that these are Frenchmen. Perhaps they are from my homeland. It has been so long since I've heard my native tongue. Please, may I not speak to them? <laughs> so she, in her veils and gowns, went to speak to them. They did not recognize her. She went back to the Sultan and says, Oh, great one, oh, great one, I beg a boon. These two know many, many cheerful stories and songs, and they play chess. May I have them as my servants? <laughs> and the Sultan said, Indeed, my love, you may, for he could, he could deny his wife nothing. 
So, that night she revealed herself to her husband and her father. And she said, fear not, for I will save you both. What she did the next day is she procured a boat. She told her sultan that they would take her son fishing. So, she had the servants carefully prepare the boat with the swords in case they needed defense and lots of food for the long voyage going fishing. And she and her young son went up on the boat with her brand new servants. Whereupon the knight and the baron grabbed the swords, overcame the crew, and forced them to sail back to France, taking the young boy as hostage. The young boy was raised as a true son of the knight and became a great knight in the service of the king. The knight and his wife were reunited, reconciled, and lived happily together the rest of their days. And the daughter left behind became the, uh, became the mother of another great knight, one that we know as Suladin.